very blind, eh? It's so blind. Okay, drop back. See you down there. Found some rock. <laughs> These boots are so stiff and so cold. I left them in the front seat all night. My toes are so cold already. But it'll be good once we start walking. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey. um, Hi. It's nice to uh, have a partner today. I've been skiing alone the last few days. Yeah. Which is nice too. Yeah, you got your ice axe with you, perfect. I got two, I don't know whether I should bring those. <laughs> Do you think it's been ridden? I actually asked someone and they thought that it hadn't, but the thing in Yosodan, you never know, there's you like, not. I don't know, I, ha I haven't heard anyone of you, but. First Ascents. In the big mountain skiing world, it is one of the most sought after accomplishments. And for many skiers, one of the main reasons to keep pushing, to leave ski tracks where no human has skied before, can be as much of a personal ego boost as a true exploration of the mountain. Over my years as a big mountain skier, I have been blessed to find good conditions on a few unskied lines, and they all hold a very special place in my heart. So an opportunity arose to ski another one this January together with Callum, a snowboarder I truly respect. It was an easy decision to go have a look. There's no official like guide bureau where you can go and like look in a book, no. like in the Alps? No, that's the thing. That's what's kind of cool about it. Like, yeah. yeah there's just know. not that much information. You don't know if people have skied the... Often they haven't though. If you don't know if it's easy. I'm not no. gonna claim anything. No, probably some locals like yeah. I skied that. <laughs> In <95, laughs> telemark gear. <laughs> exactly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Powell here just joined the, the crew. He uh, is actually a very skilled FPV drone filmer. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Talk first. He's usually on the other side of the lens. But today he's coming with us to ski some rough steeps. No, no, I said I'm not. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. We have I'll a think. lovely walk in the sun at least. Yeah, the lovely walk and then uh, I got a drone though. You brought maybe. the drone. Double drone, a bunch of GoPros, you don't need steep more. north face. Really? Let's do it. The line is over here. Yeah. It's like almost like a big spine. And we're on the it's, side you can't see. Yeah, all the rocks and like dimension makes it really hard. Yeah. So I took a photo of this line from across the valley a few days ago and from there the line looks so obvious. But then looking at it now, like you can't even see it. We're gonna see it once we get a little deeper in the valley. But it's funny how I I was looking at the exit. Um, what I thought was the exit, and that's not the exit at all. It's the next one over. Oh, it's further back. Yeah, so compared to this one, that's the photo. Oh, I yeah, of course. Shit, it's uh, you know, you see the big. It's just kidding with your mind. We'll go look. Yeah. We've walked a little bit into the valley for a little warm up. We're gonna try to figure out the best way to ski this. Have a look at that line. There's fog on these. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really hard to like, the line isn't very obvious from this angle, no. but I'm too lazy to keep walking. And it just keeps going along that, it, it starts more like a, a spine or a ramp ish, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it turns into a coulee towards the end. And then there's that big cliff at the bottom. I'm going to look at that and see if that's a way to work around it. I do wonder if it might be more effective to just carry on a bit further than cross the river up there. And then we get a bit more of a look. All right, it's a good, uh, I was just being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But then you're right, I don't want to go into the, the creek. I mean, and we have walked a few kilometers into the valley now and we can see the full line. So even if the boys don't have any bed on it, we can pretty much tell it's, or we, we can tell it's skiable all the way. Snow looks good. It's gonna shoot well. We're excited. You excited, Callum? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm. You see the algae on? Yeah. Before I was like, what? Is, what am I getting taking the ride here? It's quite cool, man. I mean, the only worry is that it's just going to be kind of bony. And we'll, 
then we'll just ski it slow. Mm. But I just look at it like a fun little adventure ski, to be honest. Mm. Just ski something somewhat steep and cool looking. I just get these ideas in my head. When I see them from a distance, yeah. I'm like, I have to see that. <laughs> and then I can't like sleep until I do it. I know the feeling. And who knows, maybe it's just like the most fun, like spine line, like future classic. Right here. <laughs> it could be a future yeah. classic. It might be a classic now, we don't know. <laughs> I'm honestly off the dollar local. <laughs> All right. Okay, boys. Yeah, we're just waiting for Callum to like <laughs> get his toes a little warm. Unfreeze your frostbitten toes. <laughs> and you better go find some sun because you're going to be sitting around for a minute. Or like 120, 180 minutes. And we're going to go skin up a north face. All right. All right, guys. Enjoy. See you, See you later. Yeah. Powder! Woo! Yeah, it does look like it, yeah. It won't be like the kind of line where you just go mock speed the whole way, but... No, no. It'll just be like a fun, interesting ski, I think. Yep. I love those like rolling ridges where you just see yeah. everything dropping away. Yeah. On either side, it's cool. Play it by ear a little. Yep. Ah, that's it. So, uh, Callum, what do you think about riding a North Face on a sunny day? Honestly, it's not my first uh, choice. <laughs> I don't know. It looks pretty cool. There's something to be said about riding a line in shitty light with a beautiful backdrop, though. Yeah. Yeah. The view's going to be clear. It's better than riding in cloud. That's the thing. That's, if you don't do it today, then you're just going to ski at some like foggy day or something. Justifications galore. Paul, what are you saying? You have some second thoughts about the, the upper... Nar? We've seen some like the the wind has done some work like before and there's an ice crust and then very little snow in the steeps. So it gets like sharky and rocky and then suddenly you're yeah, and then we have this which is like <laughs> so so good and fresh is and yes. There's there's no real reason to like uh push it today. Yeah. When you have this. Uh, no, like this the plan C that we're skinning up right now is actually looking pretty damn nice so i'm not gonna lie like if, if it looks any like this is exactly what i was looking for yeah. i think like everybody that's not an extreme skier like uh <laughs> these dudes over here you would have such a good day oh, up here yeah, oh that's sophia on the radio let's see what she's doing right hello hello are you on the radio hello hello i'm on the radio Nice. Um, so, did you just want to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you I'm on the radio and I will fly some Phoenix in a couple of weeks back. Awesome. We were just talking about how this uh, approach line we're walking up is actually looking so, so nice. So, if there's any second thoughts about the line, the big line, we're, we're just going to shred it. Copy that. How's a disappointment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but the big line is looking nice, so you're good. We're oh. getting in the sun. Finally. Oh, finally. This is some of the only sun we're gonna see today. But it's almost here. It's right there. It's just around the next ridge. Ah. Vlogging in the sun. Oh, I'm actually super excited for this view because yeah. there's so much terrain here I want to check out from here. Yeah, and this is like an, it's a new view for me as well, so it's pretty nice to oh, see some new lines. Look at that. Damn. I look ridiculous. <laughs> I hope. Not anyone is coming here because they're gonna think, who cares what they're gonna think? Line in the distance over there, what the hell is that? Let's get this on the gram! Yeah! Geotag it. 
Get your coordinates up. Well, we're in a pretty well known, in a pretty well known spot, I'd say, right? On a Saturday. I mean, this is where locals come. Yeah. But the lines, I don't know about that. How's this for a scenic, scenic ridge walk? Mm. Just coming over the ridge, looking down the north face. Looks pretty good, huh? That was all time. It's nice to see it's not wind affected. How's everyone feeling? Good. Nice. I think if there's any concern, it's like the top 10 meters. Yep, just on the roll. Yeah. Once yeah. you're on the face, I don't think the wind's been in there at all. No. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Shit, man. Oh, oh, oh. So sick. Oh, wow. Holy. It looks Shit. so good, man. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty blind, huh? It's so blind. You don't see it very is much. Shit blind. <laughs> I mean, you can't trust anything. I knew it was going to be roll overy, but that is absurd. I mean, if I if you didn't know better, yeah. it, it, it might as well be like a 800 meter cliff. <laughs> but I think once you get to there, though, you see most of the line. For sure. Once you come careening over it. <laughs> Fully back seat in walk mode. <laughs> Joking. Did you follow the ridge? Yeah, you just follow the ridge and yeah. then it automatically drops yeah. drops in. Okay. And then you're in the gully and you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you can you can cruise south pretty hard, skiers left in places too. Yeah. I mean, there there are some like see like here. It's bony looks thin looking. and bony, yeah. I'm gonna stay like out here yeah. a lot. It's just the choke in that looks really scary. Yeah. So don't go there. Go there. Yeah. Nice. This is really warm. <laughs> It's like negative 15, then you're in the shade on the north face. Did you guys ever sweaty on the way up or something? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> no, but that that's key though. You're killing it. That's professional, guys. Like, look at this. Bringing dry thermals to the top is next level pro stuff. That's when you do if you're being, if you're the last guy. <laughs> So Paul here just put on uh, some dry thermals and, and mittens, down mittens. Down mittens. But then you haven't seen it all yet. Nope. You have not seen it all. The ultimate thing to be comfortable on top of the mountain. <laughs> Ta-da! You might think this is for sitting, but no, this is for standing. That's how you keep the temperature a little warmer on your boots. It works, I promise. I like comfort. Paul, big enjoyer of comfort. Yeah, for sure. Also in the mountains. You can enjoy the mountains. It's very comfortable. Shaka fest, babe. So uh, we're all feeling pretty good. Well, we're saying five minutes, so you can send up the drone and look for an angle. Paul will send up his drone and stay on the get some other tighter angle. All right, are you both? Are you both skiing it in one go, or are you stopping somewhere? What do you, what do you think? Uh, are you skiing like it in both sections? In sections, or yeah? I don't know. It's hard to tell. If, like it might be fine to ski it in one, but it's really hard to tell how we're gonna ski it. I've been thinking that I might just drop in, and and if I if I'm feeling it, I'll just ski the whole thing. Um, and if it's anywhere that's like sketchy or I have to stop just because the snow is too thin or something, then I'll find a safe spot and you can get a different angle of the next rider. Copy that. 
<sighs> okay, so tell Paul I'm I'm gonna shoot it pretty wide then, just in case you ski the whole thing. So I think it's shooting it pretty wide. Yeah, perfect. I think pretty wide, maybe a little bit from Lookers, right? Just to show the diagonalness of it. Copy. Okay. It's time to get out of this wing sack and get this shot. I'm uh, like always I'm a bit nervous. I always get a bit nervous, but I mean this is nothing to be nervous about, so this is just normal. Uh, normal nurse. I like I want to shoot it well and I just want for all of them to get down in one piece too. All right, let's do it. Okay, we drop our on fam. Okay, drop our Alright bud. Nice man. See you down there. Yeah. Oh, Found some rock. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So nice. It's still pretty blind. It's still pretty blind, huh? So let's uh let's check it out. Oh yeah. Here it is. Pretty good snow, huh? Nice ambience, eh? It is, huh? Alright, I think I'm gonna start rolling off and enjoy myself, but just follow the ridge, right? Yep. And you can kind of see the end here, so. Alright, Paul. Sophia, you ready? All right, Jakob dropping. I'm rolling still, right? Enjoy. Cooler now, so I'll just wait here for you, Callum, and you can come follow my track. Enjoy, the snow is super nice. Okay, copy that. I'm ready to drop, so just say when. Okay, drop in five. He's fine. Wow. 
What? Yeah. In the coolie. Oh, not super nice, eh? It's pretty interesting, right? That was sick up there. Yeah. Really nice, eh? You can keep going if you want. Okay. Huh. Nice. It's too narrow. <laughs> Glad I got brought my short skis today. <laughs> oh. Oh. Woo. Woo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was uh, really cool. Huh? Boom. Nice. Yeah. That was epic. Yeah, I saw it. I think it caught it from below. <laughs> nice little ridge line. I kind of loved it for a minute there. It was yeah. nice and airy. Yeah, like really cool just seeing everything drop on yeah. the side. Should we ski uh, where we skinned up or should we ski this gully here? <laughs> Let's just ski the gully. Yeah, it's more it looks so good. fall line. Yeah. Alright bud, have fun. You too. Bonus turns. Yeah, buddy. Nice what a first cool. time yeah. skiing together, eh? Yeah. That was cool. Really cool. Oh, and it's a, it's a nice line. I'm glad Can we rode it because it was like we were kind of back and forth on the way yep. up. And... Oh, I wasn't planning to start my steep skiing season. Steep skiing season has commenced oh. January 20th? 21st. 21st. All right. Okay, now we're gonna watch Paul enjoying some turns. I'm still jealous. He's gonna have, he's gonna have a time. Let's go. Oh, he's here. He's, he's cruising. Oh, loving it. Nice to see some tracks up there. 
That's like half of the half the pressure of safe skiing. Just looking, just looking at your tracks. I know. <laughs> just being like, oh, cool. That was there. Yeah. Uh, We are finished for the day. And me and my backpack full of down drones and cameras are on my way down to the van. <sighs> no, it's fun. It's nice. Like a uh, bit shocking. I hit one major rock patch where it was time to go like, yeah! yeah how was that? Down. Hitting that rock patch right over some exposure, too. Oh, it was a bit scary, but it was. I had the time of my life cruising like the the ridge in the sun. <laughs> I mean, I skied in the sun today. Of course. It was like yes. <laughs> we did it. So nice. <laughs> How's your bases? Uh, oh, Got a few memories. Sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Fun. To have memories. that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for an epic first yeah. day yeah. shredding together. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you were gonna do like. There's trio too thing. many more. Should we do a trio? Yeah. <laughs> that's so much cooler. There we go. We're out. What to do tomorrow? Yeah, Go ski some more stuff in the sun, maybe? Full day in the sun. Full that's, day in the sun. That's what I'm planning. I'm bringing sunscreen. Yeah. You're bringing sunscreen?